Hello everyone and welcome back to English with Ansar. In this video, I am going to talk about writing task or discourse, biographical sketch, class 10, page number 12. First of all, before going to start our session or before going to learn biographical sketch, how to write biographical sketch, let us learn or let us understand how the questions will be asked in the examination. So in the examination, question will be in the form of table. Question will be in the form of table. So you can see page number 12, question will be form of in the form of table. So here you can read some information is given here, points to be covered, detail of a person, detail of the person. So this table actually information about the person is given in the form of table. So what we have to do, we have to read, understand this information and understand this information and at last what we have to do, we have to write a biographical sketch. So you can refer. Uh, to page number 12 okay so now how to write biographical sketch so we have to convert this information in the form of you know passages or account how to do first of all what is biographical sketch biographical sketch means an account of the life and activities of an individual life and activities of an individual so, okay in, it includes information about the person's name, place of residence, education, occupation, life and activities and other important details. So we will include information about a person, person's name, place of residence, education, occupation, life and activities and other important details. Other important details means awards, okay, awards and achievements. So it is always written by someone else except the person on whom it is written. So this is very important point. It is always written by someone else except the person on which on whom it is written. Now how to write biographical sketch? In the table we will get only the points. Only the points we will get you know in the form of table. Okay, in this table we, we have to read the information. Now information we have to write in chronological order or chronological sequence. We have to maintain chronological sequence. And first thing chronolo chronological sequence, second thing accuracy and third thing what we have to do there should not be grammatical mistakes and uh, we have to write uh, correct structures of uh, sentences. Let us learn here. So here answer will be like this Stephen Hawking a biographical sketch. So here you can see that a biographical sketch is Stephen Hawking. So we are writing the main heading in this in this in this way and just what we have to do in the middle of the page we have to write Stephen Hawking a biographical sketch. Now let us learn here. So in the table what was given in the table on birth uh, birth on january birth january 8 1942 it is uh, oxford england it is given in the table okay so how to write same table information we have to convert we have to make sentences and we have to choose the correct structures of sentences so here i have given one example stephen hawking was born on January 8, 1942 in Oxford, England. So what I have underlined here, January 8, 9, 8, 8 January 1942 in Oxford, this is the information in the table. That is the, that is the, that is the reason I have underlined the words. Now, he was the eldest one of his parents four sons, parents four sons. So this is also information, most of the information will be there in our you know uh, question but what we have to do we have to understand and we have to write sentences in the form of sentences and in the form of paragraphs you can write okay and uh, the thing is we have to maintain accuracy accuracy grammatical errors should not be there now here let us see here his mother was Isabel Hawking so the information mother what is in what information is given Isabel Hawking in the question in the question or in table what is given isobel hawking so what we have to do mother what is there in information mother isobel hawking 
so what we have to do his mother so we have to add here his mother was isobel hawking so this is the correct information correct formation of sentence his father frank hawking so what is the information in the table or in the question frank hawking frank hawking father frank hawking so this is the information we got from the table but we have to make in the form of paragraph or sentences his father frank hawking was a medical research researcher with a specialty in tropical diseases so here what is a medical researcher is also given in the sentence medical researcher with a specialty in tropical tropical diseases this is also given in the question so we have to arrange in the form of sentences next one he was recognized as a bright student so bright student is also given in the question bright student he was recognized as a bright student in his early academic life but he was third from the third from the bottom of his class so bottom of his class third and bottom of class is also given in the question how we are making how we are arranging how we are you know uh, trans you know converting the you know short uh, information with the you know long sentence we are making the sentences by using the information which is given already in the table okay so what the what is the thing uh, but he was the third from the bottom of his class in his class in his high school years now what is the another other information as a boy he loved board games so what is there loved board games is given in the question so we have to you know uh, make a meaningful sentences meaningful sentences okay and we have to uh, what maintain the sequence sequence also meaningful sentences connectors we have to use we have to use uh, the, you know correct structures of sentences as a boy he loved board games he constructed he constructed a computer a uh, computer out of recycled parts at the at the age of 16 so what is given in the sentence in the question uh, he he what is given constructed constructed a computer at the age of 16 what is given this is uh, given in the question so how to make you know how to organize how to organize our uh, biographical sketch by uh, you know using or by making the correct sentences by writing the correct sentences he married now this is the one part and the one you know paragraph we have completed about you know him early childhood and school school age and other things okay now here after that the marriage life when the marriage life means we have to change the paragraph so any paragraph consist of you know major uh, you know what i can say any paragraph if we are writing so major things are in the paragraph is one is you know topic sentence and another one is supporting details so when we change that you know what i can say aspect we have to change the paragraph so what is there he married so marriage life now marriage life this one first paragraph you know deals with school life and interest and other things okay early childhood school life father mother and also you know date of birth and etc now the second paragraph we are talking about marriage so he married jane wild he married jane wild he suffered from amyotrophic lateral sclerosis there is one type of disease he suffered a disorder which causes muscle weakness throughout the body so this is also given amyotrophic lateral sclerosis is also given in the question so we have to make you know sentences meaningful sentences next one what is the next one uh despite his illness he ha he had done a great work on black holes and went on to invent hawking radiation so despite despite word despite you can notice so word despite i we have used here in order to connect the you know one sentence with another okay this sentence we have to connect connect with another sentence so how to do how to use the words despite you know it's a it, it is you know word which is you know giving idea or connecting the you know thoughts or continuation we are continue we are doing the continuation of this a uh, previous sentence with this new sentence despite his illness he had done a great work 
on black black hole uh, black holes and went on to invent hawking radiation so last paragraph last what is the last paragraph last paragraph we are writing about uh, how many awards and achievements he got and how many what what are the other things in his what are what are the other things he did in his life so here everything will be in the question there will be no problem to for us the, how can we get the information or how can we bring the information we don't know about the you know scientist or you know other persons any other person we don't know how can we get the information there, there is nothing to be worried because uh, everything will be in your question itself just we have to organize the information in uh, by using accurate sentences or correct in uh, correct grammatical structures okay now here he become he became the fellow of the royal society this is also given in the question he became he became we have to use here he became the fellow of the royal society at the age of 30 32 at the age of 32 32 he won the albert einstein he won the albert einstein award also so what is a albert einstein award is also is given in the question we have to write or uh, you know use the sentences he, we have to use this uh, information and make sentences that will the sentences should be meaningful and accurate he won the albert einstein award also he won pius the 11 pius the 11 gold medal for science from pope paul 6th in 1975 this is also given in the question there is nothing to be worried everything will be there just we have to organize information in the sequential order and also we have to maintain the accuracy and the correct structures we have to use next thing what is that one he con contributed a lot to the advancement of science and research so this is also advancement on on uh, of science and research is also given so we have to make meaningful sentences he contributed a lot to the advancement of science and research if you practice three four questions it will become easy for you and uh, there will be no problem for you to face you know examination or to write examination and you can get easily maximum marks i hope you have understood this lesson Thank you for watching my videos. Enjoy learning. Have a great day.